Back to the inn we go. <coughs> Bogeyman. Who's there? Bogeyman. Hello. What are you doing? You want your mom. Oh, stop. I thought you were a. Oh, my. Really? Have you heard it? Well, oh, but not. You have. As in. The ah, foxes. Sorry. I meant mice. Anyway, I can find you a few if you like, and you can. They're not. I. I mean, can't. Well, you just come along and we'll find you some ones that don't jump. There we go. Don't mind the walking door. He must be some really horrible-looking bogeyman if he scares a troll. I'm glad that doesn't look any stupid or anything. Hey, the little guy's back. Yeah, you guys just saw that. A walking doorway. Really glad that wasn't stupid. <laughs> Welcome to this world where everything can happen. And I do mean everything. So, seen a door walk by here by chance, Mr. Troll Bouncer Man? I still wonder why the little guy was here. I mean, he's at the palace. He's supposed to be at the palace. Maybe they forgot. There. There's the Pokemon. I guess he turned on the lamp. Good. And, uh, yeah. We got a mouse. Funny. I never knew mice could knock their knees. Well, apparently, when there's a bogeyman around, they can. <gasps> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Yeah. Saw ass. Ho, ho, and ha. What it is to laugh. These cards some weren't even real mice. They were just cards. Somebody was playing a prank. Ho, ho. That doesn't... Ho, ho. Somebody's was, somebody was just playing a prank on people. There was only one mouse down here. The, every, every other thing was just a card. That doesn't... And apparently they were left by the hawk father. If there were ho, ho, ha, ha. <sighs> So let's see, we got ale, we got beer. River ank water, 100% proof. I suppose anything that's gone through so many mm. sets of kidneys must be pure. Ugh. Ugh. Bear huggers whiskey, 20% <clears throat> proof. Only 20%? Not much of a whiskey. Usually they're 40. Elderberry wine, best used before 3.30 p.m. Well, we got the wine there, so uh, what do we gather it to? The tankard, maybe? There we go. Some elderberry wine. And don't no, not the trapdoor, the luggage. Thank you. A tankard of wine. At least it looks like wine. I wonder why it's pitting the metal in the tankard. Well, maybe because it's some kind of a magical wine. Counterwise wine. Hmm. Looks like a good year. Even if it is ten years from now. <laughs> ten years to the future. Nice. Useful kind of thing to have in this place. Definitely. Why is it so far away, anyway? Usually they would be right next to the staircase. Hello again. Hello. So, how did we do? Well, he put up quite a fight, but I think I finally got him. A terrible fight? Well, yes, quite ferocious. Ferocious? How? How does a half-starved rodent of the Order Mus Domesticus manage to almost overpower a full-grown bogeyman? You forget that he's a coward. He squeaked at me. Told you. Squeaked? Just squeaked? Well, it was the way he squeaked. Puts the wind up you, you know. Mouse bites can infect. I read it somewhere. Some fella's arm rotted clean off. It can happen. You can't be infected. You're a legendary figure of terror. How would you know? You don't know the physiology of... Still, you're... best not take any chances. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't think he's going to come round again, do you? Not any time soon. Eventually he might, but not yet. The mouse is totally in total shock there. <sighs> well, finally we got the elderberry wine, at least. So let's go tune up our magical sword to make it go...
How does it not melt the barrel? How does not want not melt the barrel? You mean uh, the uh, Ankmore pork river water? I guess because it's 100% pure or proves it doesn't m uh, go through wood or it's on something. The current. Oh no! I forgot. If I put the wine into the luggage, he drinks it. And now he's drunk. <sighs> Let's go back. <sighs> Stupid luggage drinking the freaking elderberry wine. And also, yeah, the, recurrently the sword is going ploink, but we need to make it go ting, and that's why we're doing this favor for the uh, swordsmith, all thanks to Rinswind and his stupidity. So, let's go onwards. Back to get some elderberry wine. Dip -a -dip -a -dip -a -dip. Tankard. And get some wine. I almost got myself some counter wine. <laughs> there. Put it into our own pocket. Where it's safe. From the luggage. They didn't even think that it would drink the wine. I mean, we have all kinds of drinks already in the luggage. Why didn't it drink those? We had two tankards of beer, and uh, we got water, and we had all kinds of food in there. And now suddenly it drinks the elderberry wine? What is the sense of that? Doesn't make much of sense. <laughs> Hey, luggage! Where are you? There you are. Good, good boy. I'm not drunk now because I avoided that. Well, maybe. You never know. You never know when lu that luggage just might like elderberry. What would I mean? What do we know about the magical properties of a luggage? There, elderberry wine. Happy. Classy. Classy dwarf. Always burping. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? Make sure that it goes ting! Exactly. Ping! Like it, will you stop moving? A sword that goes ting! Okay, so we got the sword, we got the mustache, we've got the, um... Uh... What else do we got? Oh yeah, the tattoo. So... Now we need is, uh... I need to use... That doesn't... So now what we need is... A mask. A magical book. A spell book. A poultice. To use as a, uh, you know, armor. A magical talisman would be nice. And something else. Like a heroic scream, or something, something like that. I remember. But well, I mostly what I need is a is custard. So what if I have this, that, that, and that? A talisman. Let's see. So tell if I if I if I if I and if I was wearing funny thing, but I just happen to know that one. Now that one just has to be seven hundred and twenty-five thousand to one. 
Things are not looking good. I wonder where you could find a magical book in. Yeah, I wonder that too. I mean, it's not always easy to find magical books anyway. Oh, wait a minute, there's a book right there. Can I get it? That doesn't work. Why not? Well, librarian, do you have a magical book that I could use? Look, haven't you got a comb or something? Ooh. I mean, if you are going to insist on running a major library, you know, ape your bit. No, you can't catch me out. Oh, blah! And there you went, them said monkey. Did you get the number of... This seems like... Well, we really... Actually, we do have sort of a kind of a magical book already. The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume... Hmm? It's not really that book, that because... That doesn't work. Maybe if we return this book? That doesn't... Oh, well. It was worth a shot. So... There are several magical books here, but it's a certain magical book that we could use. Kinda. Reminds me of my old auntie's bedroom. That's where the dragon summoning book used to live. Well, how about we put it back? I don't know if we can. Because now it's a custard book. That doesn't work. Oh well, I guess we're gonna keep this book forever with us. I thought I saw something here that said book. But I guess it was the empty place that it said. Probably. Ropes. That's the book that opens. Handy thing, that. Opens the bookshelf. Ah, ah, ah. There it is. Magic book. I knew I saw something. Ah, what's this? Magic chance for dragon slaying heroes. I'll just sneak a look. I think he learned some spells there. Good grief! I've been read by a book. Sturcus! Sturcus Mortuous! No, I won't say it. I won't, at least... Not until I need to. We got ourselves a magical book! That was easy. Unlike everything else that you need to do in this game. Boop. Okay. So we got that. Awesome. So we got that, now we know a spell, we got a magical sword, we got mustache, we got the tattoo, and we've got... Shit. Yeah, we got shit. Let's see again what we have already. So we have the sword, we have the mustache, we have the tattoo, and we have the magical spell. So what else we need is a magical talisman, a mask, a poultice, and something else that we don't even know yet. Where the heck am I going to find now what we need? I can't remember what the eighth item is. think this is? A bar of low decor standards? We only hang pictures of prize winning animals in here, so we do. Ooh. So... That doesn't work. Hmm. That doesn't... That... That doesn't... That Why doesn't... can't I put it on the picture, then? That doesn't... So, where do we know that there are some animals I can put that ribbon onto? I need to take a picture of that, and then put that picture onto the picture frame. Picture, picture, picture... Where do we know there are some animals? Oh yeah, dragons. 
<sighs> so I need to use the dragon on Mambo, I think. At least that's what I remember. Oh yeah, the sheep actually is the one that I need to use the ribbon on. Never mind. We're gonna go back. The sheep is the one that needs to win. Sorta of, kinda. Because it's adorable. So to and Nanny Ogs we go. And why is Fairbite putting down YouTube links into my chat? Haven't I told everybody many times that don't put any YouTube uh, links into the chat? I mean, it takes away from my live stream, doesn't it? If you make people watch others, other stuff. Did I ever play Simon the Sorcerer on a stream? Nope, but I intend to, Cass. I actually do intend to play that at some point. Yeah, I've noticed that Fairbite is uh, spamming a lot. And he should stop. I guess he's just, you know... Done a little drinky do, And being a little drunky drunk, so... Yeah. There. Oh, it's happy. And now we take our impstamatic and voila. Smile for the camera. <laughs> there we go. That should do it. <sighs> that was a lot easier than I remember. I still wonder why, what the reason is to put the sheep onto the uh, beam at the uh, inn, or the uh, tavern. Well, eventually we will find out, I'm sure. Still need that freaking truth serum from Nanny Og. Will be nice to get. Well, let's go put that picture up anyway. Because why not? He already fixed my sword. That's already happened, Sin Lao. Aren't you following my live stream at all? That happened like 10 minutes ago. There we go. A nice picture of a cute sheep. Blue ribbon winning sheep from the... Uh from the... Followers of Offla Sacrificial Lamb Competition. Yeah, that was the one. Nice. What? <laughs> because I cannot remember where to find out about the last item. Because Sin Lao said that if I have the camouflage, which I don't have yet, and I think that might be the last item that we have, haven't have got in the list of heroic things. I just don't remember where to ask about it. Big Sally? Really? But she's asleep. Do I really talk to Big Sally about it? Can I even talk to Big Sally anymore? I mean, she, they sleep during the day. That was a nice shadowy figure walking there in the end of the street. I haven't seen that before. Um, let's go and talk to Big Sally. Maybe she will talk to us. You never know. Such a hero! A hero? Wow! How do I attract a dragon? If I were you, I'd wear camouflage. <laughs> All heroes do. Heroes wear camouflage? I think I 
quite a sort of perfume. You probably can get it from wherever you get your dresses. Huh. Now we know. Camouflage. We actually didn't know that. And this, and Sinlao, this is Act 3 that we're playing at right now. Not back in Act 3, this is Act 3. So now we go back to talk to Nobs about all the items that we need to gather to be a hero. We pretty much almost have all of them. So Nobs, how about mustache, mask, tattoo, magical spell, magical sword, and camouflage. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a dragon? If I were wearing camouflage, and if I had a sword that went ting, and if I had a birthmark, and if I had a moustache, and if I recited a magic spell, and if I was wearing a black mask. That one's tricky. It's 975,000 to one. Really? How about we take the mask away? So we take all of these five items. So tell if I and if I and if I and if I and if I re Harris? You're the expert on that one. That one must be 875,000 to one. Really? Hmm. So tell me if I if I if I if I if I if tricky. Mm. Okay, that goes even higher. So there's something that how about just a mask and a sword? So tell me, what would be the odds if I if I oh. hmm. that would have to be three two five, that's really low already. How about the camouflage, the sword, a mask, and a spell. So if I if I if I if funny thing. But I just I would reckon it it goes higher. Okay. But I just have camouflage. So tell me, if I will Yeah. Hmm. So tell me if I Now you meant I reckon that would be too Mm hmm. We can't go one by one. To do so this mathematical me, puzzle. If I After taking into account the expected number of butterflies flapping their wings at the time, that one must be 200,000 to 1. Flap, flapping wings of butterflies? Really? That goes into count? <sighs> so tell if I. Give me a. I'd say. It If I now you mention it, I reckon that would. So tell if I that one's trick. That one. So apparently, wearing just having the tattoo and the mask are the lowest for now. How about a talisman? So tell if I give me a moment. I would reckon that's really low too. How about a poultice? So t if I was wearing a posing, a posing pouch. pouch, not pull this one. What am I talking about? That one's tricky. Hmm. Fifty. That so a posing pouch, a talisman, a tattoo, and a mask. So tell me if I and if I and if I and if I was. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I don't even know what what kind of a mathematical puzzle we're doing here. What kind of number we're supposed to get to? So tell me if I recite Paris, that one more. So the magical spell is definitely out of the question, I guess. Or do we really need to go really high? I wonder how high we get if we put on all of the items. So if 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 no, that one must be one million one hundred and fifty thousand to one. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Ah, Jace. Nice. You put them down. So what kind of number do we really need to get to? That is the question. So we take the spell, the stash, and the mask. We which we should have five hundred thousand. So tell me, if I, if I, if to know, I'd say, yeah, it's five hundred thousand to one. They just seem to add up. That's all they do. They just add up. But I wonder if there is supposed to be some kind of a magical number that we need to add them up to. That's what I'm thinking about. Maybe try to hit a million. Let's see. Let's go for a million then. So these, the uh, camouflage, the flage, and the sword. That's uh, the, that's four hundred. Four hundred six eight. That and the tattoo. This should be one million. So tell me, if I and 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 if I receive. Oh, let me see. Ah, now you're talking. The odds against that are exactly a million to one. But then again, it may just work. So, the only thing that we're missing is a mask. Or was it the amulet? Let's try. Hey, no. Hey, no, no. Not me. Do I book it? What for? Um, park. Who are you? Where are the city? My old tree. There's the book. Oh, oh, where we talk? Then, then. I see. So, so the million to one. Well, that's I'll just move along, the then, shall I? So what we are missing is the magic talisman, right? I have. I put down the flage, the sword, the stash, and the spell. And then the amulet and the two. Yeah. So what we're missing is the amulet. And the only way to get the amulet is by getting a kiss from Nanny Og, get the truth, uh, the, get the truth potion, then give the truth potion to the braggart in the inn, or not the inn, the tavern, I always mix those two up, the goddamn broken drum. Give that to him, he will babble about some uh, treasure that he found, which is the magical talisman. Then we go get that, and boom! We're, we'll be ready to be a hero to take down the dragon. So the problem is, how do we get to kiss Nani Og without, uh, you know, Rincewind throwing up all over himself? Well, that's where the love custard comes in. So we have a problem, still have that problem of getting the goddamn custard. Or maybe I've been thinking about this the wrong way. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go to the hideout. Maybe I can talk to the uh, doorkeeper. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, alright. Ah. Let's see now. It's blah blah blah, spoons blah blah blah, swordfish blah blah blah, right? No. Hey! You didn't say Simon says. Oh. Simon says. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Yep, that's where I got the custard from. <sighs> Idiot. Quite a good aroma to this love potion custard tart. Let's go kiss Nanny Og then. 
Why did I all, all the time think that I would be taking the custard from the dunny man? I don't get it. Such an idiot. Ugh. It's gonna be fun to edit these videos where I call myself an idiot all the time when I try to get custard from the dunny man. <laughs> oh. Such convoluted puzzles everywhere when it's the easiest way to get them. I am a moron, but also a tired moron, so that makes me even more of a moron. At least we got it. Watch and pick. Ah, it's my hello and this. So now that she's trying to kiss us, let's take the tart and eat it. <laughs> my, my. Ah, uh, about the truth potion? Yeah, take it. Oh, my, my. Oh, well, she's happy. We're not. But she's happy. There we go. Got it. We're getting really close of it and going against the dragon now. Real close. Just gotta find the magic talisman first, of course. To the broken drum we go. I think I do know why I needed to put the picture up there of the uh, prize-winning sheep. Because, uh, well, they're round tables and everything, and he will find out that we have... We might have spiced up the drink, and this is a revolving table. So, it's gonna be just like in Princess Pride, where they switch the drinks. And then they have a Battle of the Minds type of thing, and this is what that's what we're pretty much gonna be having here. So let's talk to the braggart and get some beer. Hello? Hello! Oh yes. That's it, is it? That's the one! You what? I'm important, me. I well, uh, how would you prefer- Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. I fought the Ant God of Quacks and, and I survived the Valley of the Scan- I've even escaped from the Temple of Offla. I don't believe a word of this. Huh! Huh! You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another point, thanks. Then there was the time I blah, boast blah, blah. Barkeep, a drink. There. Now we got the bear. Since we have the bear, let's save the game. Now let's put the truth potion in one of the drinks. There we go. And give him the drink. Yeah, it's not the it's not different looking or anything like sizzling e beer. God, look. A picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Platian Animal Crooning Competition. See? A revolving table. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Whee! Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the Special Merit Medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? Quite the, um, animal, I have to say. None, however, can quite, to my mind, match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the, uh, Followers of Offla Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. 
And thus we win! The contest of the revolving... Right! Drink up! ...table. Yeah, he just realizes that he lost. Ha! Got you at last! Got me? How? But... but... there's nothing I can tell you! It's... it's all lies! I... I'm a weasel! Nothing but a weasel! A snivelling, no good, lying little we... Yeah, now look. So, just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Now look you, tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you. And it's, uh, over there. Yeah. Can't you see it? I can see it pretty fine. Uh, the smallest thing in the map that could ever appear on it. They could have made the location a little bigger. But now that we know where the temple is, let's go there. It's not like gonna be full of uh, puzzles and other traps that we need to solve. Not whatsoever. There it is, the gorge. Yeah, the little bit that appeared between the uh, mountain tops. He looks like the tax collector. What is your favorite color? It's blue. No, oh, I mean yellow. I definitely have that kind of a vibe about this uh, bridge man here. But at least it's not death. That we can be happy about. Can the spider find the final item? Can he defeat the dragon? Tune in next time for the conclusion to... This world!